In the cults of the Roman Empire, the ancient Roman religion was heavily influenced by the ancient Greek religion and the ancient Etruscan religion. The Romans worshipped multiple gods and goddesses, had no central dogma, and believed that Rome would prosper as long as the deities were kept happy. The Romans tolerated many other pagan religions and even adopted many pagan deities into their pantheon from conquered people. In the Roman Empire, people could follow any religion or cult as long as they worshipped the emperor. The persecution of Jews under Roman rule was the result of the Romans not understanding monotheism and Jewish culture. The persecution of Christians under Roman rule was the result of the Christians refusing to take part of the imperial cult of the Roman Emperor and claiming Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Three major cults that formed in the Roman Empire were the cult of Sybil, the cult of Isis, and the cult of Mithraeus. The cult of Sybil was based on the worship of Sybil, a fertility goddess from Anatolia who was introduced to Rome during the Second Punic War. Sybil was referred to as Magna Mater or the Great Mother and was worshipped in public festivals that included public drinking, group sex, and self-cutting. The cult of Isis was based on the worship of Isis, the ancient Egyptian goddess of fertility, magic, funerary rites, and motherhood. Shrines and temples dedicated to Isis have been found throughout the Roman Empire and the cult of Isis was popular among Roman women. People joined the cult of Isis because of the central beliefs of resurrection and immortality. The cult of Mithraeus was based on the worship of Mithraeus, a Persian sun god. The cult of Mithraeus was popular amongst Roman men, especially within the Roman army, due to its teachings of good versus evil, loyalty, and brotherhood. Mithraeus was worshipped in hidden shrines and its most well-known ritual was having members be baptized in the blood of a sacrificed bull.